Welcome to another Power BI report presentation by Enterprise DNA. Today we're focusing in on manufacturing operations. The business here is a manufacturer of parts that go into air, airline, airplane wings. And we're looking at the entire manufacturing processing data for this particular organization. This first page is a summary of our key measures and metrics. We're looking at our monthly intake versus our monthly invoice. We're comparing that to our average last year and for each of those and also the current budget requirements for the business. We're also looking at the units produced and also uh, factory labels issued. We're using a technique here where we can harvest our measures within a filter itself, uh, which allows you to easily na navigate between different metrics in the one report page or chart itself. Here we have a summary over our current order bank. Again, we're using a similar technique as the page before, where we can actually navigate uh, through our order bank via its order date, its due date, or its due month rather, and also its shipping date. So very easy to look at the current order book here, when, when the orders were done or completed, and then quickly navigate to when, when are these orders actually shipping out. This then follows on to more analysis around uh, our lead time, if it's overdue or not, also by warehouse. Most manufacturing facilities will be, or a lot of manufacturing facilities will be across many warehouses. So here you can see uh, what the current order bank is for each different area. Then we have it summarized by department, uh, product type, hold status. We dive bit further into hold status uh, in another page. Here we have more detail about the order bank itself, uh, a breakdown per department. Again, we have filters up here, which enable you to look at very specific parts of the data. Then we jump into holds. So we, what we're looking at here is why are there holdups in a manufacturing operation? Here we have the reasons why and we go all the way down to warehouse group as in global, regional or wholesale sales. But then we can also look at it from an individual order basis or client basis. So we can see a summarization of the total sales, the units, etc. This way we can manage our clients' expectations around or, or know which clients are affected by, by certain reasons um, for a hold in a particular manufacturing facility or manufacturing process. Then we have overdue, we've segmented or grouped the orders which are overdue, so it's easy to navigate and see which ones are most at risk or where there's going to be high client um, dissatisfaction. So for instance, we can actually navigate to overdue products which are greater than 50 days overdue. And what that's going to do is give us a summary of what products they are, why, why are they overdue, and then also we then have it on the actual individual customer, at the individual customer level. What we can do is we can say, okay, this one is almost 200 days overdue, that's pretty serious, why is that? We drill into because of the incorrect material and a customer issue. Here we can get a quick summary of the amount, the units, sales, etc. It's as easy as uh, clicking in within this chart, dynamically navigating to the information that you need. Finally, we have a review of our annual data, which just follows on from the monthly data in the first report page. Thank you very much.